Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here at the Freezing Lake. The Freezing Lake, where uh, <laughs> we just ran into Borealis. He's a dragon, but he's also known as the Fog. So, we're gonna hop on Torrent, we're gonna go after our runes. First off, here, of course, are my stats, level 121. We got two levels in the last episode, which is pretty crazy. Uh, probably at least another one from this dragon if we can take him out, which we're gonna do our best. Oh, by the way, definitely time for a rune arc, which, oof. We are getting low on. Let's give this a shot. Definitely going to... Do we want to summon? Not the jellyfish. It's weird that we can still summon the jellyfish. Who do we want? Do we want shieldy boys? Let's see how shieldy boys do. I don't know if they're going to do particularly well against a dragon. Where does he... There we go. Okay. So we get him. That's crazy that he... Honestly... Oh, he's already trying to freeze me. Go get him, guys. Alright, let's... Uh-oh. Uh What's... There we go. Just ride to the side. Um, did he just make all the jellyfish, man? By the way, what kind of damage? Not a horrible. Actually, I'm not upset about that. That's decent damage. All right. You gonna breathe at me? That's perfect, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Nah, bummer. Yeah, I'm going to have to just use Stars of Ruin. Again, huh? Uh, I think all of my shieldy boys have died. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! Okay, that's what you're doing. Okay, tell you what. Can you? Yeah, just go ahead and breathe, man. Oh, jerk. Wow. Can you jump over that cloud? Because if you go to the wrong side, you're in trouble. Shieldy boys, maybe not so good. Although, I don't know if any of them are actually going to do any better. Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. You know, Night Comet is probably still going to be the best, though, because I'm going to get the boost from the Staff of Loss in my offhand. Right? <laughs> I assume. All right, let's get up there. Where? Oh, my runes are really pretty close to where he is, I think. I'm not going to use the flask until he has landed and I can see him. Oh, wow. Way, way better damage. Way better bang for my buck. You know, it's actually just always going to be safest just to go to the uh, left, his right. I mean, big time. Because look, that would hit. That damage is, is silly. That's great. Okay. Come on, do something, uh, do something big. Why don't you? All right, yep, don't get close. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. We can get a couple, I think. Or only one of them is going to hit. Good. Okay, bait something, bait something. Ah, I don't like it. Can I hit him? No, I can. Oh, he didn't do his explosion. Does that mean he can still do it? Easy. Right, right towards him. Nice, good, beautiful. Back up. Nice comet. Oh yeah. All right, run away. One more hit. One more hit is done. He's done. We got it. All right. Yeah, night comet. I don't know why I ever did. I appreciate you, friend. 
That's right, Night Comet is my friend. And we get 100,000. And a Dragon Heart. And a new Draconic Power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Community. Yeah, I should probably go spend those. <laughs> those Dragon Hearts. Simply because we have so doggone many. I want to head up here. I thought... Thank you for that. I thought that there may have been a cave behind the jellyfish up here. It still kind of looks like there is. And if not, we're going to go beeline for that, that tower. Hey, there is. Wait, what was that? I just hit something. I hit something invisible. Oh, come on. What is it? No? Okay. How many? Two this time? Well, good thing I have two. Well, I'm just gonna have ten. Let's hop on in here. Spirit. Oh, Spirit Caller. I like the name of Spirit Caller. Only because, you know, it'd be nice to get a really new cool spirit. Ugh, we keep hitting these awkward rune amounts, though. Where I have enough to level easily, but not enough to pop some points or pop some runes and get more, get another level out of it. Alright, so what kind of cave are we looking at here? Let's go kind of sneak mode. Interesting. There's a spirit snail. Also, I forgot comet pierces. Can I get a spirit snail that summons other spirits? Because that would be dope on a rope. Five arterial leaves. At this point, I should have quite a few. I haven't made exalted flesh since, oh my gosh, my adventure with Lord Rikard a long time ago. Oh, this is suspicious. This is so suspicious. Golden Rune 10, a Rune Arc, and a Hero's Rune Level 1. You just gave that to me, like, really freely. Faced one enemy so far. And another another snail. And you're gone, okay. Goodness. Is that all we're gonna have? I don't think so. Wait, what? Oh, that would have been a drop down. Huh. Okay, probably from that other direction I could have taken. Let's play with some roiling magma. Why not? God, the, just the hard runes you're getting. Really, really good. Okay, where... Snail's are right where, actually. I'd rather not waste magic on killing the wolves if I can just find the snail. This isn't going to end well. You guys know where I am? You don't, actually. There's a big wolf. Huh. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Okay, we're gonna try and just go right for the snail. Might be really foolish. I like that these dogs are just kind of playing. All right, run down there again.
There we go. Oh, there's even a person there. Oh, there's another snail somewhere. Oh, I see it on the other side. Oh, white, white reed. Is that different than the standard samurai set? Armor of the white reeds fashioned from banded iron plates worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled in pursuit of not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths won honorably through hard fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. This one's probably going to be a little harder unless unless I can pull this off. Ready? There we go. Oh, look, yeah, he's actually summoning the Inaba. All right, that went well. That went nice. Now we can go and loot. Got some silver fireflies. Beautiful. And even though... Did I? No, I didn't hop down. I hopped down here. Okay. So nothing else here. A little bit of loot up there. Cool little cave. I've, I've said it before. The Spirit Collar Snail boss fight was one of my favorites. It was just fun. That's all it was. It was just a fun boss fight. And not, a fun, not every fun boss fight has to be a challenging boss fight. And I stand by that. And here we go. Okay. We got shieldy boys at the ready if we need it. Let's see what we get. A godskin apostle. Phantom. All right. I'm too close to you. I'm too close to you. Yeah, you're coming. Come with melee. Go ahead and uh, cast for me. That's fine. Okay, run away. Well, stars are ruined. You know what you do is you ruin other spells when you do. I could still, I could still die to this guy, but I'm not careful. But I can also hit him with the moon, which would be cool. Uh oh, I don't know how he did. Uh oh, please, please just relax, Mr. Godskin. Thank you. Oh, ended like that, not, not the way it ended. <laughs> Okay, that's... I was wondering why the boss fight wasn't ending. Uh, this guy is so much worse. Although, I do like that. Just walking right into that. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. That's fine. That was just total foolishness on your part. But if he does that big, crazy thrust attack, I'm in. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, Night Comet's doing doing its thing. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Um, he only hit me the once, though. Trees, please. That's what I want. That's what I want. Dodge, and I, I get at least three. Two. Just two. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 